The quarterback position is one of the most valuable positions across the entire NFL, and will the success of most teams really hinge on that quarterback position? And one team that has done a great job of allowing success for whoever's quarterback is San Francisco. But someone they gave up seemingly a whole lot for, Trey Lance, they recently traded for only a fourth in return. In this video, I hope to break down why Trey Lance failed where Brock Purdy has succeeded with the 49ers. To begin, we need to examine the Niners actually drafting Trey Lance and why they did it. In the 2021 NFL Draft, they traded their 2021, 2022, and 2023 first round pick, as well as their third round pick in 2022 to have the opportunity to draft Trey Lance, Justin Fields, or really whatever quarterback outside of Zach Wilson and Trevor Lawrence they wished. And we all know what the Niners decided to do here. They picked Trey Lance. And there's a couple of reasons why this pick didn't work out. The first main reason I have to say is his inexperience. Rather than picking someone who had several years under their belt, at least at a higher level of competition, they picked Trey Lance, who competed in the FCS level and played in a total of only 19 games in college, started 17. Additionally, Trey Lance only threw 318 passes across his entire time in college. In comparison, Brock Purdy faced tougher level of competition at Iowa State, and he also threw way more passes than Trey Lance. He threw a total of 1,467 passes in college alone, which is nearly five times the amount Trey Lance threw. When you watch the film, you can see this experience on full display of Brock Purdy. He makes the routine things routine, and that's what Trey Lance has struggled with. He's struggling to make routine reads, such as reading cover two in his second preseason game, but there's more to it than just that. Trey Lance really needs to get on the field and experience NFL action and get up to speed. The question then becomes why the Niners failed at actually giving Trey Lance the experience he needed in the NFL. Luckily for us, we have insider information why Trey Lance didn't get a whole lot of reps his first year and we know why his second year, and that's injuries. During his first year, Trey Lance broke his finger throwing the ball and hitting a player's helmet in the preseason game. And this resulted in Trey Lance having to rework his throwing motion and being less accurate because of that. So now going in to year one to year two, Trey Lance had kind of a messed up mechanical motion because he's gripping the ball a weird way because his finger was broken. So now he needs to start reworking his mechanics. Kyle Shanahan, meanwhile, is building an offense to really take Trey Lance's game to the next level, utilizing his legs while he can develop as a passer. Trey Lance does actually decently his first game, I think, against the Chicago Bears. During his second game, though, another injury happens, and Trey Lance once again isn't able to get the experience he needs. Looking back at last year, how Kyle was using Trey Lance, it was obvious he didn't trust him as a passer, but he did like his athletic profile and was hoping to really build him into a quarterback like Josh Allen or maybe even Patrick Mahomes. But Trey Lance, in comparison to those guys, was put in harm's way a whole lot more because he was running it constantly at the start of the year. And while Kyle Shanahan might have felt the need to do this to actually win games this is where the time schedules are different because if kyle was just focusing on building glance he might put him in the pocket a little bit more and just really tried to develop him as a passing quarterback which is really the foundation of the quarterback spot in the nfl but rather he ran trey lance because his team needed to win and i think this really embodies why the trey lance experiment failed it's because the niners and trey lance are on completely different time scales the niners are a super bowl ready team where as a team that usually drafts a developmental quarterback isn't let's take the colts for instance they drafted anthony richardson this is a similar prospect to trey lance as he's extremely inexperienced but their plan is to throw him in game action from the start and just keep giving him as many reps as possible. This makes sense. And what also equally made sense is this trade. The Niners moved off Trey Lance because they have a quarterback in Rock Purdy who gave them everything they could have asked for. He's an extremely cheap, young quarterback, 
and he operates Kyle Shanahan's offense effectively. Coupled with the fact that Brock Purdy made a miraculous recovery from his UCL tear, it becomes obvious why the Niners have moved Trey Lance off the team. He was causing a division inside the fan base, as well possibly as inside the locker room, because he is a young quarterback the Niners gave a whole lot up to go get, and they said that he was the future of the franchise, and really did cause division. So moving off Trey Lance now moves in to the Brock Purdy era, and it symbolizes a full buy-in from San Francisco. After this buy-in, Purdy performed well once again against the LA Chargers. He led to two successful drives, in my opinion, even though the first one resulted in a Jordan Mason fumble. That's not on Brock Purdy, he got all the way down to the goal line. And on the second drive, he was able to punch in himself. But there were some notable plays I think many people might have missed such as when he threw an incompletion to George Kittle on that screen pass. Many people would like him to try to fit in there, but for me, this shows growth because in practice, he threw a similar interception to Drake Jackson. On this play, he looked at it and rather than trying to fit in like he did in practice, which resulted in an interception, he just threw it away. That's the type of growth you want to see from your young quarterback. This also highlights the dichotomy between Brock Purdy and Trey Lance. Brock Purdy has tangible production. In Iowa, he had four years. Even in high school, he drove his team all the way to a state championship. Now, with the Niners, he continues to produce. Lance, in comparison, was always seen as a high ceiling quarterback with a lot of potential, but little production outside of the FCS level. With the shift from Lance to Purdy, we see a shift in philosophy between the developmental prospect who really needs time to get up and running in the NFL to an NFL-ready quarterback in Brock Purdy, which makes sense because of the way the league is structured now. There's no developmental league like NFL Europe, or there's nothing really that quarterbacks can go and get better in. Another reason why I think Brock Purdy is going to succeed where Lance failed is because Kyle Shanahan's belief in Brock Purdy in comparison to Lance. And don't get me wrong, I think Kyle Shanahan thinks Lance can be a successful NFL quarterback. What I'm trying to highlight here is that he's not sure about the consistency of Lance. Is that ball going to be where I want it? With Brock Purdy, he's already had that experiment of going through the season with Brock Purdy last year, and Purdy went out there and delivered time and time again, and even made off-scripted plays, and was a big reason why the Niners were able to drive so deeply into the playoffs. The final reason why Brock Purdy will succeed where Trey Lance failed is that Brock Purdy fits what the Niners want to do at the quarterback position. I know many people highlight Brock Purdy doesn't have the biggest arm, and they're correct. And I know the league is dominated by Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Burrow, all these guys that have cannons for arms. But in Kyle Shanahan's offense, Brock Purdy has proven to be successful time and time again. And this even carries over when he faced the Seattle Seahawks twice. This was a Super Bowl coach. He was able to game plan for Brock Purdy after seeing him once and Brock Purdy still beat him. Ultimately, these are just my thoughts of Trey Lance's time on the Niners, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. I think Trey Lance is set up for success on the Dallas Cowboys. Hopefully, he'll get the second job, get a whole lot of reps on the second team, and really develop into the quarterback he's capable of being. And now, I think Brock Purdy is also capable of leading the Niners to a whole lot of success. So this isn't me bashing either quarterback. I just wanted to give my thoughts on this situation, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. It would also mean a ton to me if you liked and subscribed. And as always, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.